COVID in many ways did reveal that science is an ever evolving thing, that sometimes people take implacable positions that turn out to be completely untrue. I remember the scientists collectively assuring us that if you took the vaccine, then you could not transmit the virus. And then it turned out that was nonsense. So science evolves and it moves. And I guess my overview would be if the experts have been so expert in America in terms of health in the last 50 years, why is America so unhealthy? Okay, again, that's like three different questions. Uh, first of all, you're, what, what you're attributing to the scientific community is actually just a couple of things that Biden said offhand, right, in terms of um, not you won't get infected, things like that. That's not what doctors said. Um, so, okay, leaving the why Americans are so unhealthy thing for later, just we should talk about mRNA vaccines because you just had Brett Weinstein on and he is one of the main purveyors of all of these lies and conspiracies uh, about, you know, fabricating all of these millions of deaths and all of these other things. Uh, his opponent was a little more uh, reasonable in terms of uh, discussing the, the COVID vaccines. So uh, in terms of like we, we absolutely cannot deny the efficacy and the success in saving millions of lives for these COVID vaccines, especially at this lightning speed in which they were mm. produced, where other therapies did fail. So uh, we, we to talk as though that's not true is ridiculous. But then looking at this, uh, you know, 500 million cut uh, for future, you know, you had a clip of, of someone else talking about all of these uh, other alternate mm. therapies that uh, we're not going to get anymore because this was cut. I mean, this is absolutely indefensible, right? There, there is there is a kernel of truth to some of the rhetoric about the mRNA vaccines in terms of the, um, it was the uh, the uridine, pseudouridine, the N-methyl pseudouridine swap, which is responsible for uh, the spike protein uh, lingering longer than we expected. It's sometimes it's found six months later in, in muscle tissue and things like that. So that was a bit unexpected, but how, you know, how do you, and, and by the way, all of the side effects have been completely overblown by frauds like Brett Weinstein, completely fabricated all of these, you know, the myocarditis and all this stuff, just complete false rhetoric, right? So it's not that there's nothing there, right? We can talk about why is this spike protein hanging, hanging around longer than we expected to, but how do you answer that question? You do more research, right? You, you study it. You don't, you don't gut the FDA and CDC. You don't, you don't have, you know, billions of dollars of budget cuts. You don't push brilliant scientists out of the country and prevent other brilliant foreign sci scientists from coming into the country due to RFK's policies and Trump's, uh, you know, attitude towards immigrants. It's just a complete mess. I mean, it's a deterioration of the American scientific community right before our eyes. And RFK and Trump, the Trump's administration are directly responsible for it. That's really all there is to it.